we're here, we're not really protesting or rallying against anything. We're standing up in support of law enforcement. That's why we're out here, and we're here to stand up because the man that they're bringing was originally being billed as someone who is a political prisoner, when we know that that is a complete fictitious statement because he placed a fake call for the police to come, and then he killed the officers that responded to that call. So that in no way makes him a political prisoner. My feelings about the college hosting someone who murdered two police officers and supporting that, calling him a political prisoner, and I just um, support our police and first responders and want to show respect for um, their lives and their the families of the officers who were killed. What is like the overall goal of like what you're trying to do today? Uh, get the college to cancel the event, which they've uh, made. Pro they've been very adamant that they won't, but we're going to keep trying. So the flag. So unfortunately, I don't have a blue line American flag. This is just a regular blue line flag. What it represents is it represents support for law enforcement. That's all that it means. It means that we support law enforcement because law enforcement keeps us safe. You know and. We need more officers and more people who are willing to go into law enforcement because it is a dangerous line of work. So we have to just let people know that we care about them, that, they, that they're valued members of society, that they are really adding value to our lives and quality of life. So this, uh, the stripes represent the five bureaus of New York City and the stars represent the towns and villages within New York City. And any fallen police officer in NYPD, their coffins are draped with this flag. So this is truly an honor of the two fallen police officers that this man killed. They've changed it from being in person to being online, and like yes. I think they've reactivated. Do you guys count that as like a victory for your cause? A little bit. I mean, honestly, I think it was because they were scared of people protesting. They had already released a letter to the students saying that there was going to be increased police presence on the campus, and that if people weren't comfortable with that, they could stay home from class, you know, stay in their dorm or whatever, you know. So they already are making it perfectly clear that they don't support the police. Um, you know, which is concerning because they have police officers on campus who they, you know, expect to keep the students safe, but they don't support them.